Hi everybody, and welcome to another wonderful episode of The Buttons, episode 10, and um, it's brought to you by me, Friends of the Feather. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if you're wondering what we're all about, go down to the description, take a little read, and that will explain everything. Uh, today, it is something, 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 Sunday. And for this something, we are going to switch out the buttons. They've been in this little enclosure for a while now, 10 days. And uh, it's the substrate, the hay that I put in there is starting to get a little stinky. So we are going to move them over to an identical tote that I have. So the lid will still fit on it. And um, <clears throat> I went ahead and set it up. They got an upgraded hut. The, the quail hut is, is upgraded. And um, I've got their water taken care of. Everything is ready to go in here. I changed out their substrate a little bit. I'm using soil and sand. Um, this over here, this is sand. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is some organic potting mix that I had. Um, so I put a layer of sand all the way underneath it to kind of soak up any moisture that might come from this little jigger and um, then just put a thin layer of dirt over top of that. Um, I, I think that they'll be okay with that. I've, from everything I've read, um, I, I think they should be all right. So we're gonna switch them out. I'm gonna try to catch them and I'm gonna try to let you guys see them one by one up close what they look like. Let's see if we can do this without losing any of them because they're wily little critters, let me tell you. Try to move really slow when I go to catch them. Oh, come here, white coat. The psycho quail. The white coat. Okay, here we go. First contestant. God, they're so tiny, you guys. They're bigger than they were when I got them, though. There it is. Looks like it's going to fly any minute. Look at the little. The dogs are outside, so I made sure to put them out before uh, before I did this. All right, this is going to be the first one to go in, so let's see how it does. All right, there it is. There's your little waterer. Hi. Peep, peep, peep. Peep, peep, peep. Now the other white coat, the other pure white one, is way smaller than that one. Come here, little baby, baby. Way smaller. It is, it's very tiny. I wish I could put them side by side for you so you could see them. Look at that. Look at that precious little angel with its little white angel wings. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my God. Oh, you guys. Hey there, baby. You're not alone. It's okay. No. I, like I said, upgraded hut. So they have more room under there and it has like little handles on it that I can um, I can bend down and it'll it'll hold it up. And I think they could probably all six sit on top of it and it wouldn't cave, hopefully. I'll be I can uh, oh no, I just got pooped on, wouldn't you know? Pretty sure. Yeah, little little bit of poop, but that's okay. Okay, this one's really skittery. This is one of the little gray ones. Let's see if we can Nope. Oh, yeah, it's loose. Okay, hold on. Be right back. All right. That didn't take too long, but we're going to put him in, like, immediately because every time I try to open my hands, he flies away. So we're just going to put him in here. He's a very cute little, little critter. You can see. Very gray. Like a lighter gray than the other one that I'm going to grab just now. That wasn't too bad. Oh wait, this one, sorry, that one's the darker gray. I, that's the one that I suspicion being a male, but I don't know. <laughs> I watched a video and they said that um, some of them with like, they get rose colored feathers and those are generally the males. There you go. It's okay. All right, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to, Oh yeah, see they're very flittery. There it is. 
And this one's a much lighter gray than the other one. I, I, I uh, looked at them wrong, as you can see. As you'll be able to see here in just a second. There you go. Beautiful baby. Almost white, but it's silver. And that's actually a, a color. They is silver. Um, the silver ones and the white ones, they, sit, they say, are the hardest ones to sex, of course. Oh, two and one. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, oh, nope. Okay, I got two of them. Here we go. These are the, these are the ones that are all stripey. Little babies. Little bitty babies. I hope they like this new enclosure. All right, and that was a lot easier than I was imagining. There they are. All the little babies in their new home. I'm gonna wash my hands off real quick while you guys are observing the babies in their new home. I hope they like that. I think they will. They seem to, uh, I know that um, everything that I've read said to make sure and give them some uh, sand or some grit of some sort, um, not only because it's good for them like chickens with the crawl, but also because they like to dust in it and they like to roll around in it. So um, I thought this would probably work out better for them than the hay. This is more like what they actually like live in because they live, they're, they're ground creatures. So they generally live in dirt and around dirt. So um, I thought that this would be a more natural, a natural substance for them to, to be under or on top of. <laughs> so yeah, loving these little babies, loving them, loving them. Very cute. It looks like their feathers are just too heavy, like they wouldn't be able to move because their feathers are so heavy. Awesome. I was afraid that they would get all like scared and like stay in one place because they kind of did that when I first got them. Oh yeah, okay. Everything that I was reading said that they like to scratch around and like to find stuff in the dirt and so there we go. Good, 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 good. Maybe they'll um, stop being so skittish now. If this... <laughs> uh, right, lady. I doubt that's going to happen. So I wanted to, to kind of talk about the story that I told this morning um, about the... I didn't... I, I actually have a correction. It was the cassava plant, not the kava plant. If you listen to that, it was the cassava plant that um, it contains... Um, cyanide in trace amounts if it's not processed properly um, so yes cassava um, <clears throat> it's a little story about unintended consequences you know it's like you see something you think you're going to make it better and you don't understand why it's done a certain way you don't bother to take the time to figure out why it's done, done that way or even ask you just say hey I can improve this and you go around improving it and then, you know, it ends up being something, you know, the reason that they had, they were doing it that way was very important. So, um, I think that that can kind of carry over into, uh, into today with a lot of things, <clears throat> excuse my allergies. Um, there was also another story that I heard about, um, two men that are, were walking down a path and they come across a fence and the one guy says, um, man, we need to tear this fence down. It's impeding our progress. We can't go, we, you know, we need to get this fence out of the way. <clears throat> and the other one says, well, do, do you know why the fence is here? Have you seen this before? And he said, well, no, but it's in our way. It's impeding our progress. We need to get rid of it. So the, they get rid of the fence and it was actually holding back a dangerous animal that, um, you know, they, they didn't know about because they didn't bother to figure out why the fence was there. Um, you know, they just saw that it was in their way 
and that they needed that to be out of their way to move forward. So they took it upon themselves to make changes and arrangements without knowing what or why things were the way they were. I think that's a lot with, especially with food. Like, yeah, our, I, I, um, I have a whole, I have a whole, a whole thing about food that I could go on about, but um, that kind of ties in with uh, with the with the cassava plant and how you know sometimes it's it's good to ask questions and learn and understand before you you know just go making changes. We're we're not that smart. None of us are. <laughs> we think we are, but we're not. All right, guys. I think these little critters are going to be absolutely just happy, happy, happy in this little enclosure. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. We've got peeps all around. Peep, peep, we keep saying. No, yeah, making a mess with the food. I knew that would happen. All right, guys, uh, have a happy Sunday evening. I know it's kind of late for this, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, I hope you guys have a good Monday morning. Tune in for our last episode of the day, which will be coming out here real soon. Um, that'll be our evening episode. Thank you to our 109, N I N E, 999 subscribers. I do appreciate that so much. All right. Have a great night.